Hi, in this video you will learn how to create this natural walk cycle animation using free images. With this you will be able to create this kind of an animation where you have a person walking in a background of your choice. Notice that this has a transparent background therefore it is much easier for you to integrate into any scene. I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive, creative and fun PowerPoint training program. The link is in the description box below. When it comes to creating walk cycle animation using animated GIFs that you download from the net, there are two big issues. The first issue is the availability of transparent GIFs that you can integrate into any scene. Now take a look at this, this is a transparent GIF. It all looks quite nice, but the moment you try to integrate this onto a scene like this, it falls flat. As you can see, the transparency applies to the entire image and therefore this is unusable. Now what if you could use animated GIFs with background and you try to remove the background somehow? Now the result is not so impressive because you can still see traces of the background on the image no matter how much you try to remove the background. So if you want to use a transparent GIF that will seamlessly integrate into any scene you create in your animated video, then you may need to create this kind of custom graphic from free images. Here are the steps to achieve the result. First, you need some free images for walk cycle. You can go to freepick.com and search for walk cycle and you will get a whole bunch of options for you to choose from. Of course, some of them are premium options for which you need to join the premium program of Freepik. Since I wanted to keep this free, I downloaded this image. When you download the image, you get a zip folder like this. Once you extract the content, you will have this folder. When you open it, you will see three kinds of folders. Now, the first option is a JPEG image. In this case, it is practically useless because you can see that these characters are pretty much overlapping the space of each other which means it is not easy for you to extract these images and then line them up for animation. So you require a program that allows you to extract these individual images easily. A good option is a free program called Inkscape. Once you install Inkscape, you open the folder which has walk cycle images and you will be able to find one of these file types that you can open with Inkscape. You select that and you say open and the result will be this. Now if you see, you would be able to easily remove the background. So you select this and hit delete. Now all this has transparent background now. You ungroup everything, right click, copy and then go to PowerPoint and paste it. You would be able to extract the individual images like this. Press Ctrl G, now I can move it out and I can save it as a separate image. So that is exactly what I did to have all these images extracted. I saved each of the individual images into a separate folder called walking animation and gave each of these pictures a name from 1 to 8. Now the next step is to create an animated GIF using these images. For that you need to go to this free site called easygif.com then go to GIF maker, you choose files and then from the folder where we have saved all these images we can select everything and say open you can see that we have eight files here. I can say upload and make a GIF. The next step is a very important one. You go down a little bit and see this option called effects. In this, you check this option called don't stack frames. Then you say make a GIF. You can see that we have this beautiful animated GIF created. You save it and then open the folder where you have saved it. Right click and copy that animated GIF. Now when you paste it on PowerPoint, you would be able to have this animated GIF that works beautifully. Now once you have the animated GIF, the rest of it is fairly easy. I created this road by using a simple rectangle tool. I downloaded these two vector images from pixabay.com. This is the first one with a transparent background. All I searched for is city background and searched for a vector graphic and I got this one and I also got this one. I just had to place one behind the other and I created this kind of a scene. Then I placed this animated GIF outside the slide area. Then I used a simple animation called fly out exit animation and this flies out to the right and that is what we have selected here 
and I made the duration as 10 seconds. Now when we go to slideshow on a click, you would be able to have this animated GIF walking on your scene. Do you want to learn all the essentials of PowerPoint in under 20 minutes to impress your bosses and colleagues? Then we have just the video for you right here. All you need to do is to click on the link here and start watching the video right now.